Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be learning about the concept of metabolism. So the learning objective will be to discuss the overview of the concept of metabolism. Now what do you mean by metabolism? Now if I ask you, how are you feeling right now? Some of you might say I am feeling hungry. Some of you might say I am feeling tired. Some might say I am not hungry, I am full. Now all of these activities are related to one term which is metabolism of the body. So metabolism, what do you mean by metabolism? Is there types of metabolism or it's just the word metabolism? Let us explore all these concepts in this video. Now cells, we know it's like little little factories. Number of activities and number of reactions are going on inside the cell. All these reactions will yield products and those products are important for producing energy or ATP as we have discussed earlier. So these ATP is produced by all these different types of reactions which are taking place in a cell. So cell is like a small factory wherein different organelles are doing different activities in order to provide energy to our body or to the cell. So cells are constantly carrying out thousands of chemical reactions. And to keep body as well as cell alive as well as healthy. So why are you alive and healthy? Because of the metabolism. Now these reactions, all these reactions are not just happening like okay reactant combines and the product is formed. They happen in proper chains and pathways. So all the reactions if we talk about respiration, there are many parts of respiration and at each step one or more product is be formed which is called intermediate and finally a product is formed. So the sum total of all these chemical reactions that take place inside the cell is known as metabolism. The metabolic pathway is a series of interconnected steps, right? This pathway, in this pathway doesn't happen on its own. There is a starting molecule and from that starting molecule an intermediate is formed. That intermediate acts as a starting molecule to form next intermediate and finally like this a product is formed and at each step of these metabolic pathways comes the role of enzymes which we have discussed. Now metabolism can be divided into two categories. It can be catabolism and anabolism. So what is what do you mean by anabolic pathways and catabolic pathways? Now anabolic, anabolic means formation. So small molecules, small small molecules assemble together to form a big molecule. In these reactions complex molecules are built from simpler molecules. The way amino acid combine to form proteins, nucle the nucleotides combine to form polynucleotides or for, or for that matter glucose is formed from carbon dioxide. So all these reactions are what? Anabolic reactions and they require an input of energy. So ATP is required for these reactions. Next is catabolic pathway. Now catabolic pathway is opposite of anabolic which means breakdown. So they involve breakdown of complex molecules into simpler molecules. Can you name some breakdown reactions? Yeah, the very first one, the respiration. Next, also the breakdown of muscle fat, muscle proteins, breakdown of fats by lipase. All these are catabolic pathways. This is a diagram for catabolism and anabolism. Clearly, you can see catabolism is breakdown of large molecules into smaller ones and release of energy. And anabolism is synthesis reaction wherein energy is utilized. So this was all about the metabolism of the body. Let us now discuss what are metabolites in the upcoming video. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.